Hey there guys! Anime Core A5 here, and uh, well, apparently PlayStation decided to increase their prices for the PlayStation 5 in the markets. And I can imagine a bunch of you guys out there who are PlayStation fans are pretty much pissed off. Well, uh, well, apparently, you know, it's thanks to the, you know, the whole uh, scalping thing, and you know what, scalpers pretty much buy multiple PlayStation 5s just so that way they can buy one and sell the rest on eBay and get, you know, and, and get some money because, hey, apparently, you know, scalping, yes, yeah, scalping is illegal, but apparently no one's doing a thing about it. No one's stopping scalpers from scalping up PlayStation 5s and selling them on the market. So, how does that work? Oh, wait a minute, I know. What Sony could have done is actually, like, literally done what Valve did to the Steam Deck. You know, just basically, you know, place an order on their, on PlayStation's website, and then, of course, uh, you know, PlayStation will send you, uh, an information notice on when you can reserve your PlayStation 5, and then, there you go, it's in your hands. But, Sally... That's not the case, and uh, yes, the PlayStation 5 and the Series S and X are the two most powerful consoles currently that are on the market. Because every every gamer out there really, really wants a new Xbox or the next PlayStation. Because, hey, you know, that's, that's the world we live in. Currently, you know, right now we're in the console war. State of mind between PlayStation and Xbox. Who will win? I don't care because guess what? I'm sitting I'm sitting in my chair eating toast and playing PC games. That's what I'm doing. That's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mini Quarter 85. What exactly what games are you currently playing? Oh well let's see, I'm playing Treasure Cold Steel, uh on my Steam Deck. What else am I playing? Um I'm playing a whole bunch of different games, mostly Treasure Cold Steel, because well that game is actually quite fun. And yes, it's a very it's a very long lucrative hour of a play of a game because it's over 50 plus hours but hey you know what i can at least clock in three to four hours a day and literally not be bored of it yes there are some parts that really really cringe me like the time like like basically portion of the game where pretty much rain every time you know he's uh you know he has to do his little you know assignment or whatever he always turns on this ridiculous radio that literally puts on some news a news like a nine o'clock news inf information information and i'm like seriously why are why the fucking hell are you listening to news at nine o'clock in the evening when you could just be listening to freaking goddamn music or you know just be listening to you know to a you know have like a little tv thing in your uh in your in your bedroom and you could just listen to that while you're actually doing the assignment that's a much more better way instead of like listening to freaking news at nine o'clock p.m seriously but yes that's that's not the point of this freaking of this freaking goddamn rant my god but yes, uh, yeah, with everything going on and the increasing of PlayStation 5s, unfortunately, for those out there who really, really want a PlayStation 5, well, apparently you're going to have to wait a little bit longer until you can get your hands on one. Or, of course, yeah, well, let's see. Well, I know that, that the young ones, who are probably not at the age of 16, can really afford to buy one, and nor can they get a job yet, because... The, uh, the legal age for when you can get a job is between 15 and 16. That's pretty much the age limit. Any younger than that, and you're not going to be able to work in that, in that role, unfortunately. What do you do? Well, you have to beg your parents. But your parents may say, no, I'm not going to get you a PlayStation 5, even though it's super popular, but hey. You know, back back when, um, back in the old days when there was the Nintendo Wii, it, it was a really, really, really big console seller. It, it pretty much sold out everywhere. I know, like, a lot of soccer moms and normies would actually go out and actually buy one because that was the thing, was, you know, it was Nintendo being very innovative, being creative when it came to consoles. But, yeah, I mean... Yes, I had a Nintendo Wii, 
I liked some of the games I had. Let's see, what games did I have? I had Mario uh, Party 8. I had uh, that Mario Kart game for the Nintendo Wii. I had, what else did I have? I had Fortune Street. I had Wii Sports, even though really the only game I really actually liked was probably bowling and baseball. Those were pretty much my, my only games I actually like. Maybe like a little bit of tennis, but honestly, eh. And then, oh yeah, Super Smash Bros. Uh, Brawl. No, that was actually fun. And you know, it was actually fun to actually like literally create your own stages. That was another thing that was actually a lot of fun about the about Super Smash uh, Brawl. That was one thing I actually did enjoy. And also Guitar Hero 3, uh, Legends of Rock. That was also a lot of fun. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it was... I still remember uh, playing a lot of Guitar Hero 3. Always up to the challenge to try and take on to the Fires and Flames by Dragon Force. That was always a lot of fun. But yes, I know that uh, a lot of... I know that, you know, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are pretty much the, the, the hard, my god, why can I not speak today? The ones that are super hard to get. But you can still get yourself an Xbox Series S if you so desire. Though, keep in mind that really there's not really a lot of Xbox exclusives because, hey, you know what, if you're getting an Xbox, just go get yourself Game Pass, okay? Just go ahead, you know, spend that $15 on a subscription, and there you go. You have Game Pass on your Xbox. Because, hey, when you get a Series S, you get, you know, Game Pass along with it. So, therefore, you know, you can just pay $15 a month, and you have access to a, to a wide range of library of Xbox Series S games. Or S and X, plus PC. So... There you go. In terms of for the PlayStation 5, well, that's a little bit tricky because, you know, I know that they're probably, you know, ramping up production and the stuff and the, because of the whole chip shortage, but still, still, to this day, I mean, honestly, at first I wanted a PlayStation 5 so badly that I would kill for one, but now, ever since I switched over to PC, I am so glad I, I didn't even bother to get a PlayStation 5. Because literally, if I, if I wasn't gaming on PC, I would be completely bored on my gourd just because I only have a PlayStation 4. <laughs> I mean, yes, I could play those same exact games on PlayStation 4. The only thing is, I wouldn't be playing them in 4K. I would just be playing them in traditional 1080p. But then again, I suppose that goes for most games anyways nowadays. I mean... How many games out there that you literally, you know, that games come out, like, in native 4K? Not really any, if you, if you, uh, if, uh, you know, you look, you look closely. Now, I understand that, uh, you know, now, you can actually, you know, if you have a really good, powerful PC, you can definitely, um, upscale the game to, uh, to 4k if you have like a good graphics card that can literally go up to 4k um and also to if you have a 4k monitor that's that's the thing but i know most monitors i mean 4k monitors are, are still expensive to this day but still you know i i mean 4k tvs are, are easy to get because nowadays you know who who buys like a 1080p tv nowadays like most stores sell just Pretty much a lot of them in 4K. But I think it's going to be a while before, you know, a lot of monitors start, you know, go down in price under 4K. But other than that, honestly, I, I, I honestly just, I don't really care much for, like, between 1080p and 4K. Like, between the those two uh, resolutions. Because honestly, I just care mostly about, you know, how the game runs and and the gameplay and that sort of thing. I mean, yeah, it's 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 really cool to, you know, to play your cool awesome games in 4K and also be able to watch movies in 4K, but still. 
I don't know. At the end of the day, I just feel like, you know what, if you're going to, for those out there who still want a, a PS5, I'm going to just tell you now, save your money and just go get yourself a PC because here, here's the reality of it is, okay? I know a lot of you guys out there want a PS5 because, you know, because of the whole exclusives. And I understand, you know, there are, you know, you can play those, you know, those third-party games on the PS5, but... Honestly, PlayStation is now, you know, they're now putting a lot of their games on Steam. On Steam, So, what would be the point of you literally playing your games on PS5 when you could just play them on Steam? And plus, you know, with a PC, you have a lot more, um, you have a lot more flexibility when it comes to, you know, messing around with, like, the graphics and the gameplay and the audio and dot 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 okay you have a whole bunch of cool awesome things you can do however on playstation 5 you don't have that you are limited to certain things that you can do um when it comes to the graphics um setting in most games but you know on on pc no matter what you know graphics are always going to look good on PC because, you know, hey, PC gaming is where it's at in, in current day. I mean, you know, looking back at all the games I've played and, and, and all the consoles I've had, I really enjoyed the PlayStation 2 for what it was. I mean, I felt the PlayStation 2 was pretty much the cool, amazing, awesome console because those were the days where when gaming was really, really good. I actually enjoyed playing games like Jack and Dexter, um, what other ones? I'm trying to remember on the back of my head. Uh, let's see, Jack and Dexter, uh, I still remember that Cars game. I still remember playing that. I don't know, like, why I was so into that, but I kind of was at the time. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, playing, uh, Guitar Hero 2 and also playing Rock Band. I still remember having some fun with my brothers when we were playing Rock Band on the PlayStation 2. God, that brings back, that brings back memories. And it would be great if Activision or, or maybe, you know, like if Microsoft, um, worked with, uh, Harmonic Studios or, or some, or some other studio to literally make the next Guitar Hero slash Rock Band game, but bring it back to what it was before all this whole thing with like DJ Hero and all that stuff, because I, I really liked, you know, the the older Rock Band games like Rock Band Two and the first Rock Band. I thought Rock Band Two was actually pretty good. I the only thing I, I really wish that Rock Band Two had was the ability of you actually like you know wanting to buy actual songs from all your favorite different artists like. Of any of any type, whether that be pop, J-pop, or well, actually, you know, it'd be cool if, if actually J-pop was actually in Rock Band. That'd be really cool. Um, although, then again, I suppose you couldn't really actually put J-pop because J-pop is more Japanese dance music than it is actual Rock Band. And I mean, the game is called Rock Band for a reason. But you know, I, I it would be cool if you could actually like you know, um, you know you know, download all sorts of stuff from, like, from metal or R&B or whatever. But, I don't know. I mean, I, I understand, you know, that Rock Band 2 didn't have that because, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I really think, like, you know, that could have been, been something really cool. And, you know, it would have been, been amazing if uh, Harmonix also had brought it over to PC, like, actually made Rock Band available or Rock Band 2 available to PC. Oh man, I could imagine like a lot of the PC gamers out there today would have a lot of fun with that actually. I mean, and I know that there there are some really interesting um third party guitar hero like games. Um I remember I think it was like I'm trying to remember. I think it was like like several years back, I remember Facebook had um a uh, thing called Guitar Flash, which you can actually find that somewhere if you just Google it. Um, and you just basically, you know, it's just like Guitar Hero, except that you play with, um, 
little keys on your keyboard. But yeah. Other than that, yeah, I mean I I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't actually buy a PS5 and I know a lot of people are gonna are gonna criticize me for it, but hey, you know what? At this point I don't care. I'm glad to be on PC now. I'm glad to be having some fun with a lot of the games that I can, you know, triple A games that I could play on PC. I mean I don't really play like a lot of exclusives and plus, you know, the exclusives are kind of pretty much like dead. <laughs> I mean Seriously, back when the PS4 was around, when you, you know, when when the first when the PS4 got announced, I remember there were some games that were announced. There was like The Last of Us, there was Killzone Shuffle. Where is the next Killzone game? Answer that question, people. Where is the next Killzone game for PlayStation? It doesn't exist. <gasps> wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me, you telling me that Killzone is now dead? Oh my god, what happened? What happened to Killzone? You know, I remember back in the old day when x was around and uh, I remember they had that one creator guy who was sitting on the couch and he had this whole gigantic monitor and he was playing some Killzone. I forget which one, I think it was Killzone 1 or Killzone 2. I'm trying to remember, I can't remember. But yes, Killzone, that is a really, really great first person shooter. Now it's a whole bunch of other random, uh, random ass th uh, third party first person shooters that either I'm sometimes interested or not really. But yes, alas, I really wish PlayStation had another Killzone game. Maybe then I would have made PS5 a much more well-worthy competitor to to the Xbox. But yeah, I I I I truly uh, I mean, keep in mind I did play a little bit of Killzone Shadowfall. I it was okay. I I, I even though like I wasn't like super like into it, mostly because I think it was like during like during the first main mission, I pretty much like just. Just kind of just stopped playing it. Um, but yeah. And then there were some other first party exclusive games that came out for the PlayStation 4. Besides The Last of Us. That that one I do remember. Because I remember it was that, The Last of Us. And I think there was also, yeah, The Last of Us 2. Um, yeah, I remember that one. And then there were a few other ones I can't remember now on the top of my head. But yeah. Yeah, but nowadays like... Exclusive games are pretty much gone, and the only way how you, I mean, yeah, Nintendo still has a lot of exclusives, and yeah, I know, I, I know, I'm, 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 I'm counter, I, uh, I know, I'm countering myself with that, but Nintendo is really like the only place that has exclusive games. I mean, PlayStation doesn't really have that much, um, and if they do, it's usually just for like a one year type of thing deal and then the rest of the games go to other platforms. Like like Kingdom Hearts, for example. For the longest time, the Kingdom Hearts series was only on PlayStation. You couldn't play it anywhere else. Now you actually can. You can play it directly through Epic Games Store. You can play it through Nintendo Switch, but let me just give you a fair warning for those out there. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you decide to download it, don't be surprised if it doesn't work because you have to have really powerful internet because, you know, it's it's a cloud streaming type of thing. It's not the actual games themselves, unlike how they are on Epic Game Store. Plus, not to mention, uh, Persona 5 Royal is also coming to Steam now, so... Hey, there's another reason. You don't need a PS5 to play Persona 5 Royal. You could just play it directly on PC. How's that? So, yeah. And I know I I I know I know I'm 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 basically, you know, I'm I'm hitting I'm hitting badly, you know, PlayStation fans with a freaking with a freaking golf club and a hammer, but <laughs> I, I don't care at this point. I really, really don't care. I, I'm, I'm so glad I'm, I'm not spending, you know, I'm not spending money on a PlayStation 5. And I actually, and I'm kind of glad I spend money, you know, 
my my good hard money on a Steam Deck because Steam Deck is to me honestly it is much better than the PS5. But hey, again, everybody ha has their own thing. I mean, if you like the P if you like the PS5 and you really really and you really really want one, okay, okay, I'm I'm you know it's it's your life, your money. You could do whatever. Honestly, I'm 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 just saying, you know. It's a waste of time to keep waiting for the PlayStation 5 because it's going up in price and it's hard to get. Why not just do yourself a favor and just go and just go either build your own PC or you could just, you know, if you are currently like, you know, in high school and you have a job, save up, you know, save up a good chunk amount of money and just, you know, uh, build all, you know, get the parts and put together your own PC or or just go, you know, custom uh, pre-built one, which you can do directly through NCXT's uh, build website. And if you guys need a link, I'll, I can give you guys the link to it. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Um, and I know Amazon and other, and other places have, uh, have like pre-built ones, but they're not really good quality. So there you go. Anyways, that pretty much uh, wraps it up for this video. So I hope you guys uh, found found some of the stuff that I just said really interesting. And I know some of you guys probably have your own counter arguments against uh, everything I just said in this video. But hey, you know everybody has their own opinions. Hey, feel free to voice what, what your opinions are in the comment section down below. I mean, you can still you know wait to get PS Five. Go ahead and do that. But if you want to go with my recommendation, my recommendation is either, uh, you know, uh, you know, get the money together, uh, build your own PC and stuff like that. And there's plenty of uh, tutorials online that can show you or you can, uh, you know, get a pre-built one directly from NCXT. Uh, build website. I can give you guys the link to it if you guys leave a comment in the comment section Or the other thing too is you could just place a order for a Steam Deck and there you go You can play games that way and plus you can uh, Download uh, emu deck if you so desire so that way you play some PlayStation 4 games And I know that there's gonna be a I think there's also a P a, I think there's already a a PS5 emulator out there somewhere or if not it's probably still in the works but hey there will be a PS5 emulator down the line okay so I understand that a lot of you guys you know get, get really irritated whenever someone you know like myself you know you know takes a piece of pie and throws it at the at the fanboys of PlayStation 5 but Hey, I'm just I'm just going from from my from my experience and honestly I will you know I will leave you guys with this. You do you wanna know how long it took for me to like you know to get a Nintendo Wii like when it was first popular? I had to wait until like until my like my sixteenth or seventeenth birthday. That's how long I had to wait. My fifteenth to sixteenth uh, birthday. That's how long I had to wait. It took months for me to get one, so yeah. Even though I could have got myself a PlayStation Three at the time, but I didn't. I didn't think of it at the time. I because I was so I was so hell bent on the PlayStation on the Wii at the time, but but I didn't actually think about just getting a PlayStation Three. But it also that was because you know the the Nintendo Wii was a little bit cheaper compared to the PS Three. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, again, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Definitely subscribe if you have not. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that way you can stay updated for more awesome content like this. And you can definitely see more cool awesomeness uh, happening in the future. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my past videos, uh, definitely check them out. And, of course, uh, I still am doing my Let's Plays. I just haven't found much time because I'm now in school. And, obviously, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff going on between 
my current work, which I'm trying to find a, trying to get myself a new place of work, honestly, because I seriously hate my current job right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm taking a class over at, I think, in San Francisco in uh, City College. So, there you go. But, yeah, other than that, feel free to leave, uh, yeah, all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And, oh, yeah, follow me. You guys can check me out. Uh, you can definitely check my uh, Discord uh, server out. Uh, link to that is in the description. Uh, for some reason, if you can't seem to gain access to it, just leave a comment in the comment section down below about that, and I will get back to you. All right? With that, this is Anime Core A5. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.